Wait, how much a box? Three today. Two hobby boxes. 23, 24. Upper deck. Black diamond hockey. Featuring six premium with a massive asterisk cards per box. In any given box with 23, 24 black diamond, we should be expecting one autograph or non-auto diamond relic. You heard that right. You are not guaranteed a single hit card in this product. One base card or base parallel. One exquisite collection card. That's good. And three additional cards. Could just be a basic insert, a tech insert, or another exquisite card. So there's that. But before we get into today's video, this video is sponsored by GP Sports Cards. Be sure to check out the Black Diamond Release Day break. GP has a ton of breaks available, whether it's Team Select, Hit Select, Team Random, 5 Box Center, 10 Box Master. GP has a ton of options available for Black Diamond, so be sure to go hop in a break. And if you missed any breaks, be sure to sign up to the newsletter to stay posted on upcoming breaks. Also, be sure to check out Total Sports Cards, card shop located in Toronto, Ontario, featuring a huge selection of Upper Deck hockey products, other sports Pokemon, and much more. And if you're looking to purchase new slash upcoming Upper Deck proc online, be sure to call or email to do so. Well, thank you, GP, for sponsoring today's video. Obviously, Miss Christians, get into today's video. All right, Black Diamond, let's address that massive elephant in the room. These boxes cost $500 Canadian, which isn't the worst part. I've seen these for 500 USD, so pretty aggressively priced boxes here, considering if you look at the box averages once again here, we are not guaranteed a single hit card. This is typically your first high-end product of the year, but it's a faux high-end set. And let me explain why. First off, the autographs in here. Sticker autographs. All sticker autographs. If you're looking for autographs, there will be stickers. Manufactured patches. SB Game News has the banners. Black Diamond has the manufactured patches. Those do absolutely nothing for me. And of course, the factory diamond cards, which used to be special back in like 2013 14 when they did that big time raffle. And you got one of ones of the 2013 14 rookies, but now it's really just watered down and diluted. And it's all over the set. It would still be pretty special for just for the rookies, which by the way, they're number 99 and there's four tiers in them single diamond, double diamond, triple diamond, and quad. Of course, Connor Bernard is here. He's throughout the set. So yeah, sticker autos, manufactured patches, and factory diamonds, which are fine, but it's supposed to be a high end set. And again, there definitely is some good things in here. I mean, this set does appeal to me more than SB Game Use, which isn't saying much, but it looks to be 160 card base set the parallels to the base with those rookie gems typically being the true rookies not sure if that's the case for this year there are parallels to those rookie gems as well there's plenty of one ones in here and i know for 22 23 they really did a great job on the design of this product they likely did that to try to justify the cost of this box even though i think it was like 200 dollars last year ago which is still 100 dollars too much but we'll see how the inserts are one of the main inserts i'm looking for it's a rookie insert the rookie gems long-standing proper rookie for black diamond they're in here they're number 399 there's the red to 100 and green to 10 so it's cool to see those in there now in terms of men the highlight would definitely be Exquisite Collection. Part one of three for Exquisite Collection is in Black Diamond. That being said, most of your cards are base rookies or patches. There isn't any autograph content Exquisite. You have to wait for Ice for that and then the cup for the really big stuff. But there's still some great things to be on here, including a crazy jumbo materials with a really nice patch here. Those are nice. And there's Exquisite Collection rookies patch 101 shields. Even though the design of that Bedard's a little meh, I'm not gonna lie. That'll still fetch a pretty penny. That's still the product hit. If you're looking for Bedard autographs, they're gonna be stickers within the Black Diamond section. Which, by the way, the standout autograph for me would be the gemography that appeals to me most it has one of those factory diamonds in there with the autograph i have no doubt these cards are gonna look great but 500 bucks i know i missed several things like the diamond debut relic patch autos there that's another big one patch autos yeah let's check out 23 24 black diamond 500 dollars box so thousand dollar break right here again we're not guaranteed a single hit we could get a factory diamond and some tech inserts so let's start off with this box here all right first box of black diamond this product definitely appeals to me more than sp game use it does cost 200 dollars more than sp game use and in a normal year it costs probably like 100 dollars more not guaranteed a hit i mean for 500 bucks we should be getting an autograph a diamond relic and several hits but let's check it out here very flashy packaging look at this geez and let's see how 500 dollars box is justified obviously i mean it's marked up it should be around 300 bucks but it's connor bedard so everybody's capitalizing on bedard so let me put a filler there okay there's the pack and let's grab the first card here okay so this is a base i'm not sure where the hit card is i guess we're going right into it second card might be the hit card but looks like we have a base card here so should be getting one base per sean farrell there you go base 349 so just a base hopefully the quality is good that seems all right there decent looking card looks fine there not a super thick stock card. it's like a jersey card stock so there you go sean farrell first card six cards 500 bucks what do we got here is this a rookie gems it's vinnie de harnay it's signed to <sighs> vinnie de harnay rookie gems auto 157 199 so this could be our box hit right here <laughs> vincent de harnay auto i mean he's a solid defenseman he's well liked in edmonton there so there you go 500 dollars box vincent de harnay is our box hit high-end product by the way and it uh, looks like we actually do have have is this a rookie gems it might be a rookie gems here no it's a team logo jumbos of leo carlson so again one of the top names it's aggressive cheese though the manufactured ducks patch there so congratulations you receive a train card with a manufactured hockey patch enjoy okay. so there you go leo carlson is our third card of the box okay next card up here here's one of the like tech 
cards. Jeez, what the heck is this? What the heck? Okay, so Run for the Cup has a blade design for this year. Patrick Kane on the Rangers. Recording this right when he got eliminated as a member of the Detroit Red Wings. So that's 30 of 99. So a rare Patrick Kane on the Rangers card. So that's interesting there. Tech insert. So yeah, okay. Here's card number five. We still need an exquisite card. So we got a green card here. Adam Fantilli. So that's nice to see. What is this? Is this a basic rookie gym? Hey, seven of 10. Rookie gems. I'll take it. Off-centered pretty aggressively, but hey, Adam Fantilli, rookie gems. Green should be emerald, but that's really nice there. I'm guessing, but I would go for a pretty penny, but there you go. Centering's not great there, but seven of 10 for Fantilli, so geez, that's really off-centered. Yikes. Okay, well, yep. And the final card of the box. Here's our exquisite card. Is it like a retro? Yeah, exquisite. I believe it's 910 will be the retro. What the heck's going on here? It's Devin Levi, so it won't be signed, so it's just non-signed exquisite. 235, 299 for Devin Levi. That is one thing with Black Diamond, you do get large names, like in terms of rookies, like your inserts, so. There is box one at large, that was honestly a okay box, 500 bucks, still way too much. I do like that Fantilli, so let's get on to the second box here. All right, second box, Black Diamond, $500 box, so looks like the exquisites on the back. Our hit card will be the second card. Now granted, we can tell right away if it's a diamond or not, doesn't look like it. Got two thick cards in there. All right, first card here should be a base, could be a parallel, we'll see. It's Felix Potvin, so there are some interesting legend content here. 227, 349, Felix Potvin, there's the first card. Card. And I'm going to save the second card here. We're going to go on to card number three here. Looks to be another team logo. It is Matt Coronado. So there you go. Matt Coronado team logo jumbles for the flames there. Another manufactured patch. Okay, next card up here. Here's our tech card. Interestingly designed here. Diamond Gallery. Adrian Campe. So there we go. Diamond Gallery. Adrian Campe. Really fancy there. Like two cards with acetate in the middle there. This number. Don't say any numbering, but Diamond Gallery. Adrian Campe. Looks to be a structure with this product, but Diamond Gallery Campe. Okay. Okay, next card up here. Once again, I saved the second card. What is this? Well, Black Diamond... Ridley Gregg. This might be signed here. I think it might be signed. No, okay. Diamond Futures, and there's actually no diamond in there, so. 22 of 49 for Ridley Gregg. Diamond Futures, purple or pink there, I would say, so. They're gonna tell me the parallel note, but Diamond Futures, Ridley Gregg. And the second last card, which is the Exquisite card. Looks to be another tribute card there, so. If it's a weak name, we might have a good pull for the second car of the box. Matt Coronado, so. 36 and 99, so that's a gold one, but Matt Coronado, exquisite rookie, 36 and 99, so there you go, exquisite. Okay, and the final card here. Hoping it's something decent. We got a little bit of a spectrum to it. To maybe it's nothing. 40s, Elias. Okay, well, Elias, it's an autograph to the base. It says pure black is the 49, but jersey numbered Elias, 40 of 49, sticker autograph there. So there's our box hit. So that's a very cool card there, but the rest of the box was aggressively rough. So yeah. Okay. So that, guys, there's two boxes, 23, 24, Black Diamond. Seems to be a formula with this product. Obviously, you get one base, Felix Poffin, 349 there. You get a Team Logo Jumbos. We got Matt Coronado, second box. You get a Tech card, the Diamond Gallery of Campe. Ridley Gregg, Diamond Futures, no diamond. I thought there's going to be a little diamond in there, but no. Nope. The Exquisite on the back, which is a gold of Coronado. And a base auto, the 49, 40. Jersey number to 49 for Elias there, so. That was a weak box. First box was definitely much better. Got a Sean Fale base rookie, the 349. Good name, but cheese. Team Logo Jumbos, Leo Carlson. Run for the Cup, Patrick Kane, the 99. Interesting design this year. Got the exquisite Devin Levi. The Vinny DeHarnay autograph to 199 which isn't terrible, but won't age well in the long run. I don't think people are going to be hunting Vinny DeHarnay in 20 years, so, okay. And we got the nicest pull of this break. Wish it wasn't so off-centered. Rookie Jam Green. Should be called Emerald. 7 to 10 of Adam Fantilli, so. All in all, it's hard for me to recommend this product, <laughs> considering here's our two hit cards from $1,000. Two sticker autographs. So, yeah. Proceed with caution. There's that. So, you guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys later.